Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Vapor Vault Reviews. My name is Callum and today we're sitting down here at the Vapor Vault. Today we have a flavour review. So we've done a few devices, a few disposables, we're bringing it back to a flavour review and I'm very happy to dive into wherever the bottle has gone. I did have a bottle here. Here it is. To dive into dinner lady moments and I have recorded the video once but I didn't like it so we're going again. We're going to do the video from scratch. Full disclosure. So, here I have got a peach bubble. Now, I've not looked at the actual flavour profiles, but I have vaped these once through, and I'm going to redo the video because I think I can do a better job at describing these flavours to you. So, the first flavour, oh, and today I'm using the Waterfoam Manic. I like this device because I have spare pods. I've burnt through quite a few amount of these coils doing flavour re reviews but I can easily change over the pod for each flavour. I've got a little 3D printed stand there and it just makes it easy for reviewing flavours. Today, we're diving into dinner lady moments and this one is the peach bubble. So uh, I'm vaping it at 50 watts. Let's see what we can taste from the peach bubble. Also, because I've done this once already, all the flavours have well and truly saturated and broken into the coils. So, from Peach Bubble, I am getting a peach iced tea. Very similar to the Dinner Lady, I think they're drinks. A very similar peach iced tea. So it's peach with a little bit of iced tea. If you've ever had bubble tea, that's what I'm getting from it. They're like a peach bubbly tea. It's actually... Not overpowering with flavour, that's why it's reminding me of an iced tea, like a subtle syrupy peach going on in there. It's quite nice, it's quite nice, it's alright, it's not my favourite one. When I get to my favourite one I will scream and shout and let you know. And there is also one that took me a little bit by surprise. So, peach bubble, I'm going to give it like a 7 out of 10, but let's move on to the next flavour. Let's go from this way round, the next flavour we have here to try today is Fruit Splash from the Dinner Lady Moments range. Uh, if I can click this on the correct way round. Fruit Splash. There is something in there, not like menthol, almost like almost aniseed, just giving me that, I want to call it a high tone a high pitch tone of flavouring, but it's a mixed fruits, not like a tropical, more like your mixed berries, with a little extra something that's just telling me menthol or ice. As I vape it a bit more, it's, it's not quite aniseed, but it's more like coolada, just something giving it a little ice background, but something else going on other than the mixed fruits. So it's like a mixed fruits with something that I, I can't quite nail to be sure. Very nice mixed fruit flavour. Definitely definitely something that could be an all day vape. I can't pick out any individual fruits from this vape. But quite a, quite a nice fruit mix. Not tropical, but a fruit cocktail of sorts. Almost like British berries. Summer fruits, British berries. I'm getting summer fruits vibes. Summer fruit squash. So along them trails. Once I read the flavour descriptions, that extra note that's that's bugging me, that's clearly in there, but I can't quite put my finger on the flavouring, I'll update that in the flavour description, flavour description, in my description below. I'm going to rank this one a nice 9 out of 10. It's an all day vape, it's a nice mixed fruits. But uh, now would be a great time, if you're enjoying the review so far, to hit that subscribe button so that you see all the reviews that I put out. A thumbs up goes a long way too, and you know I'll appreciate it. Moving on to our third flavour, and I've got to keep these in my stand so they don't get don't get mixed up on me. Third flavour we're going to review is the Raz Blues. Now this is Raz Blues. From the name, it tells me raspberry blueberry rather than a blue raspberry. So it's a little play on a flavour that's very very popular in disposables, in short fills. Blue Raz very popular. Right here we have the Raz Blues. Let's check it out. Now this one. As I was filling up the pod, 
I could smell it a lot more powerfully than the, all the other ones that I had filled up. So let's give it a vape. And this is the flavor that took me by surprise. So it is definitely a spin on a blue Raz. This is the Raz Blues. And it is heavier on the raspberry, which we have been waiting for for such a long time. I love raspberry flavorings. This one's very heavy on the raspberry and almost toned down with the blueberry. So it's a twist on a very popular flavor. I can see this flavor doing very well in store. In fact, I'm gonna pick these up tomorrow and they will be on sale from Wednesday. If you like blue raspberry flavors, you will love the raspberry blueberry from Dinner Lady. Raz Blues, absolutely cracking it. I'm gonna rank this one. This one is a solid 10 out of 10. Lots of flavor. I get a tiny, tiny kick of ice. I'm not sure if that's just me or if there is actually ice in this flavor, but it's not cold. It's just a little bit in there to pump up the flavorings. I very much enjoy this flavor. And let's move on to flavor number four. So flavor number four is a purple one. It is obviously a grape flavor. This is called Grape Star. Just click that in there. Grape Star. So it's definitely like a rich black grape style. I'm definitely getting a dark grape, not a green grape. I'm definitely getting a dark grape with something else that is just in the background. And I've put my finger on it. It's aniseed, like the licorice flavor. It's not menthol. This is like a grape aniseed. To me anyway, I might read the flavor description and be totally wrong. But what I'm getting off these flavors from the taste is a grape with a light amount of aniseed. So if you're not a fan of aniseed and you're worried because I've said it tastes like it, give it a try, you will be surprised. It's not heavy, it's just in there pumping up the grape just a tiny bit, to me. Anyway, this is what I get from trying these flavors. My job here today is to describe what I'm tasting from the vapes, from the flavors, and relay that over to you so that you can make well-informed decisions. I might be wrong, I might read the flavor profile and it not have any seed or it not even have grape. Well, it's gotta be great, it says on the bottle. But you get where I'm going with this. This is just what I'm tasting off the flavors. And I have to put that disclaimer in there because I'm doing this video blind without reading the actual flavor descriptions, which is pretty terribly of me. But whenever we get a brand in like this that I've not done my own research on, I like to go in blind because then I can tell you exactly what I'm tasting as I taste it. Although this is my second time doing the video, the first one was terrible. I'm pretty sure Dinner Lady deserve a much better video than the first one I recorded. So always trying to put out the best content I can possible with the crappy phone I'm using today. Yeah, I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident with my flavors. So uh, check it out before you reach the end of the video and give me a thumbs up if I'm right. Please don't give me a thumbs down if I'm wrong. Just leave me a comment and call me uh, call me something. Don't really like the Mickey being taken out of me, but definitely call me a bad reviewer. So today we have Bubble Trouble for our last flavor. This is the fifth and final flavor. I was only gonna do four because I had four pods. Found another one. We can do all five flavors today. Bubble Trouble. This is the one that I didn't like the smell of as I was filling it up. And uh, let's vape it and I'll tell you why. So of course, flavor is all subjective. I might love something that you guys hate. I might hate something that you guys love. I'm giving you my personal experience from the flavors at hand. This one is Bubble Trouble. It is a spearmint bubble gum or a bubble gum mint. I am gonna describe the mint as a spearmint, like the blue polos, not the green pack, the blue polos. It's a distinctive, different kind of mint. It's spearmint to me for sure, and it does remind me of toothpaste, unfortunately. It is bubblegum with the spearmint exhale. Which I'm not a fan of, but I've already had a customer ask for this particular flavor. So there are people out there that love this kind of flavor profile. I've been asked for the dinner lady, it was called mint bubble, or he called it mint bubblegum, but it is definitely bubblegum mint. So oh, almost right. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have them in today, but we will have by Wednesday. 
It's okay, it's vapable, but it's not my favourite. I did forget to rate the grape, and I'm not such a fan of aniseed, so I'm going to give the grape a six, and I'm going to give this one a five. But that is purely because they are not my kind of flavours, and flavour is subjective. The raspberry, loved it. That is my kind of flavour. That is a solid 10. Thank you guys very much for watching my review. If you've enjoyed it, found it informative, like to share it with a friend, definitely do. Hit that subscribe button. A thumbs up goes a long way. And drop some comments in the comment section. Let's chat. Let's see if you've tried the Dinner Lady moments yet. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. And next time, next video, probably tomorrow, maybe Wednesday, we will have a device. We have the Gen PT60. Maybe use one of these flavors in there. Maybe find something new for you. So that is to look forward to coming up by the end of the week, I promise. Thank you guys. You guys stay safe and take care. See you in the next one.